Welcome back to another Tony Montana video. This video was not going to be made until some, you know, some Chico Lobos brown nosing naive people started making comments. Uh, people clearly don't know the breed and clearly don't know Chico or his dogs. They're just nodding what whatever Chico says. Yes, sir. Whatever you're saying is the law, but it's not. But uh, and I'm I'm, I'm going to school you guys in English as well about this. What well, he posted here, apparently he just posted in Spanish, but I'm going to translate it and I'm going to break it down. I'm going to clear, open people's eyes. Okay. So on the first sentence is basically saying, uh, my dogs come from Mayday, but not from the Mayday that you guys and the streets have. They come from three sources. All right. Um, and obviously uh, this is silly, but anyway, like, uh, now he's mentioning the iCart's Macho One Time Winner. Uh, I, what, macho One Time Winner, iCart, yes, he bred the dog Macho One Time Winner. However, once the dog was seven weeks, uh, the owners of Macho Buck Evolution Kennels were the owners of Macho One Time Winner. Chico never, never, never owned it. Chico basically, Macho One Time Winner basically uh, uh, beat Chico's dogs that he brought in from uh, New York that he was claiming, because he's always claiming, he had the best from New York. Well, he, and I've said this in other uh, videos. Well, he twice, he, he got destroyed by Macho One Time Winner. Uh, and, 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 and so he decided when to use and the female he bought, not bred, not created, uh, called Cheyenne. To breed to Macho One Time Winner. Again, uh, Macho One Time Winner was not bred by Chico, was not created. He just basically asked, please, 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 was, char be, was trying to be charming and nice to the people that now, today, Chico talks BS about. He talks down on the Macho Buck owner, on, on his dogs. When And this time, when he was needing him, he was really good friends with him. But so this guy being a nice guy um, in, in Texas said, all right, I already, my dog already whoop your dogs. Might as well let you breed and see what happens, what you, what you can breed, what you can um, produce. So he bred Cheyenne to Macho one time winner and had a litter. Out of that litter, only one, I say one dog made it. Awesome bug. Okay. Only one out of the litter. Is, do that sound like a good percentage? Not really. But anyway, and obviously only, you know, only Chico has done anything with that dogs and nobody else is saying anything great about Awesome Buck, only Chico Lopez. And um, again, only one out of a litter doesn't make a great uh, producer. But anyway, now here, number two says that, that he has animals directly from Mayday from breeding that he still has in his hands. So people that know about Mayday know that Mayday stopped producing years before he died. Years. And I'm talking about line number two. Uh, so he's saying that he has dogs and semen from Mayday. Everybody in the nose that knows, dogs know that that's BS. He will not be able to register any dog from, with the ADBA or any... um. Any reputable registry he wouldn't be able to re register any of the dogs, but because we know that that's BS, but because he is uh, um, working on his own, he's creating these little paper uh, birth certificates that look very much like the ADBA format. Uh, he can say, confuse people and say, look, you know, I'm giving you something that you normally would get. But that paper me is meaningless because it's not from a third party saying, yes, this is the br true breeding of what the, the puppy you're, you're, you're holding in your hands. So um, everybody knows that Mayday, uh, uh, there hasn't been any frozen semen from Mayday in, in, in the many, many years. In many years before uh, Chico Lopez claimed to have had one that he produced area 51 with and then now he's saying that he still has more again you have to be careful because anybody could go into a, a vet uh extract um freeze the semen and say oh my this dog's name is mayday um and blah 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 and blah 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 please hold it 
You know, this could be done many, many years ago. It doesn't have to be now. He could have been doing planning on this for many uh, years, saying, oh, you know, I'm going to use it later and I'm going to confuse people. And again, people that know him know that he has been a, a salesman for all his life. So all he's doing, he'll say whatever he needs to say to make a sale. All right. So uh, now I would say number three. Now it mentions Damien RM that he froze himself. Ooh, okay. Uh, you know, again, this is not a dog that Chico uh, raised, bred, or anything. He bought the dog when the dog was old. The dog had already produced. Uh, by the time Chico had him, the dog had already produced. The dog had already been, um, uh, you know, the semen had already been extracted from other by other people by previous owners. Then Chico just did the same thing. The, so, you know, basically, uh, like, like anybody that has a, a son of media at that time, you know, they're going to try to preserve it. Nothing out of the, no, uh, uh, nothing unusual. And, you know, it's nothing to do with Chico. He just bought it, bought it and bought it. Now, here he said, let me just go back up a little bit. Now, he's saying all the major stuff that you guys have, I don't, it, it doesn't interest me. Oh, I don't. I, I the the crumbs that Victor left in Ecuador does do not, or the uh, in Ecuador, or the ones diluted in the U.S. don't. Is not my interest. Not even the hundred percent May Day that look like rat, and the ones that look you know like him, but the ones inside there's nothing. There's nothing inside of them. I have 50 of Barracuda's dog and didn't like him. BS. I, I really call that BS. Uh, and basically now it's talking about Hunch trying to belittle all the ones that actually Barracuda and Hunch actually had their grand championships. Pay attention to that. Grand champion. They were true working. And a macho one-time winner is basically that. A one-time winner. I'm not saying that macho one, wouldn't be a grand champion, but he wasn't. He wasn't tested. At least these two individuals, uh, Barracuda and, uh, um, and Hunch, at least Barracuda cr created his own line. Hunch, uh, unfortunately, was less bred, uh, and people weren't uh, thinking ahead of time. Think They did not freeze much sperm, if at all. Now here, he mentions the Honey Bunch strain that I selected hard. Yes, that's why he's saying that he selected, but again... He ain't select anything because first, uh, the 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 honey bunch blood was the one that killed his um, awesome buck dog, and when that awesome buck sperm was used, he had no say in the matter. It was done by other people. That like Chico Lopez eventually got his hands on those individual dogs, including Chilindrina, um, Copper Day or Copperhead, one or the other, um, King Amok. And other dogs that also got killed because Chico's neglectful and whatnot. Anyway, so no, the Honey Bunch really was the one that destroyed his dogs. And he just got what he got from other people. Now, he also mentions that he has Red Boy, his own Red Boy. And no, Holland's uh, selected his Red Boy. You just use like the Sarge. You just use other people's work, not the not 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 the why not you didn't create anything. You just use other people's work, um, and now you hear you say you got legends and grand champion champions and RRM. But again, who is saying this other than you, Chico? No one. You are the only one that's making these claims that you have these dogs. Obviously, I could say this and that about X dogs and that I have 26 grand champions, 59 champions, and 17 RRM dogs, just like you. I could continue saying that. You know, I could continue saying that. And if people ask me where to prove it, well, I would say let, let him Chico prove his own first. I don't. I'm not selling anything. He's at least trying to sell you uh, according to his claims. So let him prove his his his. His merits that I again no it doesn't work, but anyway here's uh, trying to belittle the person that up here uh, that 
actually made a point, you know, um, here, I'm going to scroll up. He's talking about the collars. I know you guys probably remember when I actually made a video about the collars. The collars, Chico saying, oh, it was my design. I just was trying to figure a way of, of making more comfortable collars for my dogs. And so I designed, I came up with the design of this collar. And then I showed a picture of a freaking Mayday that had the collar. And so he, he's saying, oh, wait, well, hold on, man. I didn't say, you know, I, it looks the same. It looks, all the design looks the same, but it's a different material. <laughs> That's not what you said, Chico. You said that the design was yours. That, you know, it wasn't, you didn't talk about, oh, the, I made them in better quality. Obviously, everybody's going to say the best quality is using that. But no, you were saying that you created, you thought about that, that, um, you thought about the uh, uh, design to better uh, work your dogs. That's really what you said, and it's not true. And um, I'm going to show you also uh, dogs. They have similar, this is Greyhounds. They've, they had these collars for many years before you even knew what, what it, where, which side of the dog uh, it, it eats and which side of the dog poops. They, these dogs already had these type of collars. So it, it's not, hello, it's not, it's not something you design. But because you have an inferiority complex, you have a complex, oops, um, you actually... Um, you messed up, you know? So truly what it is, you messed up. So uh, you, you're claiming things that you it's not, you have no no merit about, and I just giving you, I'm giving the public proof of it. Anyway, I'll leave it like that. You can hear this. And yes, whoever I made a comment, you motivated me to make this video. And thank you for that. This is Tony Montana. Until next time.